What is up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. So in today's video is a video that I've had planned since I was probably like four years old. A little bit of an exaggeration right there, but when I was growing up, there was this one thing that almost every kid did. Every kid. And you know, it's funny because it was just in my old neighborhood. After I moved, I never heard about this thing ever again. It was like the silly bands of bicycles, if you would say. I grew up in a small neighborhood where almost every little kid or every kid rode bikes. It was like the main thing of transportation. Everybody loved to ride bikes, which probably sculpted me to be the uh, BMX rider I am today. So I don't know exactly where this idea came from, but in my neighborhood, it all started when the older kids or the teenagers started to do this. And that is where they would take these bike spokes and they literally made them into bracelets. And you know, being a little kid, you always wanted to be as cool as the big kids, so you started copying them. We always tried to create the bracelets but we just couldn't do it. And you know, thinking about it after a while, it finally kind of makes sense to me about how to make these spoke bracelets. And that is what I'm going to be teaching you guys today. So before we get started, if you guys are new to this channel, please go down below and press subscribe. I promise you, you won't regret it. Hey, also mention that they should also leave a like on this video. Listen, bud, all you have to say is like the video. That's all you have to say. Hey, no, stop, no. The items you need to create the spoke bracelet are obviously spokes. Now, your boy is a BMX rider, so the spoke sizes are usually about 188, maybe a little bit longer, maybe a little bit shorter. And then your boy also has a big mountain bike spoke. Huge, actually. One thing to keep in mind is the size of the spoke. Now, the BMX spoke is definitely not going to work. It's probably meant for toddlers, maybe even a little bit older than toddlers, but if you actually circle it around, we're gonna circle this around just to get, just give a little feel. That, that is like the size of my wrist, but you have to have a little bit more to play with at the end. So this is probably for littler kids, very littler kids. So that is why your boy has a big mountain bike spoke because I'm going to cut it down after I'm done with it just to get it down to that right perfect length. So you know if you guys got that like one mountain bike in your garage that just nobody uses and you just take a spoke off of it really quickly, you know, just gotta slip it in. So we got the spokes and then you guys need pliers. In this case, needle nose would probably be the best bet, but the thing I have at hand right now are these pliers. Now these would work as well. They're just a little bit thicker. Needle nose is definitely the way to go, but needle nose are in my car. I don't feel like going out to my car to be quite frank. And to make my job a little bit easier, I have clippers just in case if I need to cut down the spokes. And I also have a uh, vice grips if I, if I need to hold the spoke. But this could be done with spokes and pliers. And honestly, you could maybe do it by hand if you're strong enough. Just maybe, but it's just, it's easier to use pliers. First steps first, and that is to take the spoke that you are using and clean it off because you don't want to have a greasy ass spoke on your wrist. That's the last thing you want to do. So the next step is kind of tricky. You got the entire spoke right here. Now it is kind of a guess and check maneuver to really be able to uh, get it down to the perfect length. So now we're going to take the giant spoke and we're going to grab it by around the three quarter, or like the first quarter mark. And we're gonna really gently, this is, this is where I'm gonna use the uh, second set of pliers just to make my job easier. So basically you're just gonna take the spoke and just bend it ever so lightly because spokes are very delicate. We don't want to break it. Then you're gonna have something that kind of looks like this, which is a very good step. That is, that's the perfect step actually. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna bend it a little bit more, but this time more at the base. And we're gonna make a cross with it. So after you get these two parts to cross, then you're going to, first of all, unvice that because we don't need to have them viced. So we're going to take the actual spoke and we're going to bend it up a little bit more so we can close up that gap, just a tiny bit more. But like I said, be careful because this will break the spoke. Get tinier, 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 tinier. So right after you have something that looks almost identical to this, then what you're going to do is you're going to snip off a little bit of the excess spoke. Now this is gonna be the, this is gonna be the challenging part. I already know this is gonna be challenging. So we're gonna snip probably about right here. Right here seems about healthy. Okay. So then you got something that looks identical to this. So basically, what we're going to do from here is just simply just twist, 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 twist. And this is where pliers will come in handy. 
you really, really want to clamp this part down and really get it good. You really want to just twist it as much as you can to make it really as flush as possible. Bam. Now, of course, you didn't have to cut off the extra end. You could have just kept wrapping it. But, I mean, it looks it looks nicer out clean cut. It looks like a fresh haircut. So, if you guys are unclear about the next step, it's basically just to make it in the form of a circle. A perfect circle to fit around your wrist. So, we're going to start at the top and we're just going to work our way down. Now, this, this part is tedious and it takes time. Like I said earlier, it's a guess and check, so we got to... Keep keep sculpting. So basically once you guys have reached this point It's pretty clear that what you will do is you will hook it just like that Just like that and then you will have somewhat of a circle But you always want to just clean up that circle just a little bit more make it more perfect A little bit cleaning. It's like spring cleaning a few moments later after a ton of fine-tuning I think we finally got a pretty good shape for it. That's a pretty perfect circle It'll definitely fit around my wrist now, a lot of people will think that we are done with this, that it is complete, but that is not the case. This little part right here has to be bent up a little bit more. Now, this part is kind of optional. You don't have to bend it back, but I'm going to bend it back just a little bit so uh, the bracelet won't ever come undone if I don't want it to. And ladies and gentlemen, we are all done. So basically, at this point, you guys will put it on your wrist and really quickly just connect it like that and wha-bam. Wha-bam. And you got yourself a spoke bracelet. Now to get this thing off, it's pretty simple. Same thing as getting it on. All you have to do is just take this part right here and slip it right back through and shabam. So at this point, what you guys can do is just make this your own. In this case, I picked a raw color spoke so I can go and paint it later on. I'm probably gonna paint this black or a crazy color scheme. I don't know what I'm gonna paint this yet, but I'm gonna paint it. And I also wanna see if I can like add like a little chain link right here, like a little tiny chain link. I wanna put something also on it so it's a bracelet with like another part. Wouldn't that be sick? And that's the fun thing about this thing is because you can customize it any way you want. When I was growing up, people used to paint these the craziest color schemes. Now, one of the things that were really popular is that if you had like a group of friends, you and your friends would all paint yours the same color as like a friendship band or like to signify that you're a part of like that friend group or like that group of people. Your boy did not have much of any friends back then, so uh, your boy's band was uh, was silver most of the time. It, it was silver. So like I said, I'm probably going to paint this thing black, but now thinking about it more, I may paint it mint green. Now this is also a little plug for you guys to also paint yours mint green to signify that you are part of the Needle Media fam gang squad lit fam. I'm out here at 1 o'clock in the morning filming a video. I probably sound like Google Translate trying to make make sense. It's not, not good. Not good. See, this is what I'm talking about. And just like that, I lost train of thought. Oh, God. Anyways, if you guys do make your own spoke bracelet, feel free to tag your boy, send it to your boy, let your boy know that you made one, and I will be sure to check it out, show you some love. Anyways, if you guys are new, Mint Green is the channel color. You guys gotta keep it minty fresh, and if you guys end up painting yours mint green, send it to your boy, let your boy know, and I'll be sure to repost it on any of my social medias. Once again, if you guys are new, then go down below and press subscribe. I promise you, you won't regret it. Don't forget to share this with your friends, share the homies, share your dog, share the cat, share their friends, hot mom, especially share with your friends and tag your friends in this video so they can make their own spark bracelet and you guys can have that fucking squad. Anyways, don't forget to share with Uncle Bethany and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. God, it's like there's nothing in there. There is no soul inside of you, is there? Oh my.